back on the second part of this video tutorial. It's about exploring Streamlight and uh, Dash to build specific application, uh, interactive application, especially leverage on some of the uh, frameworks like such as Panda or Spicy for the NLP uh, to integrate uh, data science feature into an application. So basically I've presented Streamlight that is a framework that has worked uh, pretty well. And um, I made a few examples with Panda and Spacey. And then this time we're gonna work with Dash. Dash is much more what, I mean, according to me, uh, much more a small lightweight Python web framework to build website. Uh, but I find few impressive um, application build on that. Uh, I would show you. I would show you them. I would show them. Sorry, uh, later. For the moment, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get uh, into the into the directory, and then uh, I'm gonna launch a small. So just check if I'm here. Yes. I'm going to launch this one. So it's like your regular Python. It's not like Streamlight. You don't have to. You just type Python and then the name of the Python uh, script, the name of the file, sorry. And then it will launch inside the inside the navigator, inside the browser, um, the uh, local host where you could see the application. And it's especially interesting for the uh, for the to show graph, for instance, for instance, I'm taking right now. I'm taking um, right here. I'm taking some um, all the all the countries that I have won uh, gold, silver, and bronze for the last Olympic Games, summer Olymp summer games, from the United States to Hungary, and then I load it into a into chart so let's see what is done and by the way uh, you have a great explanation and stuff like that on dash i think i've given here yeah right here right here and i think i have also them right there so you have a lot, a good, good set of application. Here we go. Here is the application. Sorry, and then here is sorry the uh, good introduction to it. Okay, and then here is my here is my dash script that shows. So you show the United States. You have Germany, uh, and then all these countries who have one uh, gold, silver, and bronze, you know. So that's pretty good in terms of, um, it's pretty simple, even though you can basically read it. Uh, you don't have like Streamlight, you have to restart the stuff. If you want to make some change, for instance, I will, if you reload like this, it won't change. But if you, there was a difference, you stop then I'll clear the console and then I restart and then I will reload this. Here we go. I will reload it and then you will see my changes. Okay, changes. So you have to stop and reload and so on. Okay, but basically what I'm going to show you is one of these two. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't put them inside my uh, GitHub account inside my file because I mean, you can find it pretty easily on GitHub. So you have, the first one is a very NLP, um, introduction to NLP, to uh, uh, natural language processing visualization, which is a good article because it, it makes a good uh, introduction to Plotty Express and to how to use in Dash. And the other one was uh, may, again, uh, things, uh, an application made by, uh, um, I think it's Brazilian because it's all in Portuguese. So I'm going to show you these two. Uh, so when you stop it right now, I've stopped my, uh, that's, that's why I've got the error everywhere. So let's see. 
Let's see the first project. So it's going to take much more time to load it. I'm going to get there. So I'm here, and like I did, like Python. Uh, sorry. Yep. And then we can watch if you want. We can have a look to the first project. And this one, Python. You see? Yeah, it's almost it's almost an application. It's almost it's more complex in a way. For those who have seen the the video about Streamlight, it's more much more complex. But still, I mean, the uh, it's complex because the um, the application is pretty complex. Okay, so is uh, I think they they are making he's making the investigation on the complaint about banking. That's why you have all these bank. And uh, yeah, okay, you can, and you see it's on Flask. So what I was saying is that pretty close to Flask because it's leveraging on Flask. And then you up, you load it into the browser and then you can check and I have, uh, it's pretty, I mean, what is interesting right now is that maybe you can tickering it and try to figure out, but you, I just want to show that it's very impressive the way they work you know, and the way it works. So you have all these complain, the top top bug number of complain, and it's coming from the CSV file. And then you have all these, um, all these engram, which is a concept for the NLP, and you can select a bank, except, and so on. So it's a very, very intuitive, and you see you are almost, if I find title, you can really easily change and reload. Wow, this is basic change, but still, I mean, when I'm talking about tickering, okay, I'm reloading. Oops. You see, and then it will change. And basically, the, the dashboard, I mean, Dash Enterprise is a, is a low-cost platform for uh, machine learning and data science application, which is also for me, data science stuff and features. So uh, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good introduction. And the other one, uh, that's exactly, see, just to show you that it has changed. Whoops, I need to go there and I need to go there. So I would see the change. Well, that's, almost ridiculous as a change, but still you see that is loading the stuff, yeah, it changes. So basically I'm not touching the script, but still, I mean, you see how you can interact with the, with the library, okay? So let's see the other one. And, uh, and that we will be done. So I think that was project two, if I copy. And, uh, whoops, sorry, I didn't put the CD in front. Yeah, right here. And then I just cut and paste and type Python this time. Yeah. So it's going to launch and that's, meanwhile, I'm going to look for the, for the text that I've reused in the first that was this one, and it's gonna make a quick analysis, which is, um, it's a WYSIWYG. Uh, so it's in Portuguese, but still, let me see if it's working even for a foreign language. Uh, yeah, that's it. So it's loading spacey, and I've changed it to English, so I can take my English text and have it analyze. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm gonna just cut and paste first the URL of the application. So you see it's all written in, uh, in um, Portuguese, but anyway, it doesn't matter. And then you just cut and paste and you put it here and you put analyzer. 
And so he's going to make the analysis with, a, with the help of spices. So for those who know what is uh, natural language processing, it's a very interesting thing. I mean, it doesn't cost a lot. I mean, there's a lot of work, uh, apparently, but uh, you, can let, you can tickering and you can have all these analysis, the name entities. Uh, you see, I've, it's a text about YouTube and the work I've made. Uh, I think you can find it here. That's this article that I'm summary. That I'm making uh, analysis. You have position and you have sentiment, okay, and you have uh, signification, okay. So for instance, what is that? Yeah, it is going directly to the dictionary, okay. I don't even know. So, what I want to know, what I want to show you is that. Uh, even for someone, which is refresh right here, so you can cut and paste any kind of text, and um, and so basically, as a conclusion, I just wanted to explore. That's exactly what I was saying. I, I just wanted to explore uh, an eventual uh, different way of building an application, especially uh, if you want to build. Um, specific application using uh, data science features. So, and yes, these two framework are serious competitors for what I know or what I used to, what I used to know and what I used to have to use, uh, that's a PHP framework, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's pretty awkward, but still, uh, it's a quick presentation, and I think it's a good introduction to these two uh, frameworks, Streamlight and Dash. For someone who's not really a developer, but wants to know what is able to do with such, um, such a framework. Okay? See you then. Bye-bye.